Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. I have created two different templates, one without morph transition and another with morph transition. The first I am going to show you without the morph transition. So this is how it works. When I click, it will show you the icons and you can see that oval shape there, one circle and the option 01 and the text appears to the right side. When I click, it will show you the details of option 2, then option 3 and then option 4. Now let's see how it looks in morph transition. So with morph transition, the first slide looks same with the same animation. And when I click next, you can see it comes down and this becomes to 2 and it will change the options here. Then this is the third step and this is the fourth step. So let's see how to create these transitions in PowerPoint. These are the prerequisites to make this slide. First, you need PowerPoint 2007 and above version. And if you want to use morph transition, then you need Office 365. And last, you need four different icons which you can download from the nonproject.com. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, right mouse click and change the background. I'm going to use a gradient fill. So you can use uh, this gradient which is white and light and a dark gray and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle at the center of the slide make it no outline and align center and align middle and this also you give the gradient fill only this I'm just going to delete the dark gray and if you want you can increase uh, white now you cannot see because it's already it's blend with the background so for this I'm just going to add the shadow effect to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this make it no outline and gradient fill and select type as path I'm going to keep only two here first select this one and give the white color which is outer white and inside give some dark colors and make this white transparency to 100% and this also you can increase the transparency level just increase somewhat and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the soft edges to 6 maybe and then bring this side and send to back you can see that shadow effects had been created and press ctrl D bring to the other side as well and this also you send to back now you can see the shadow effect being created here now next is go to insert shapes and select the rectangle top corner surrounded draw the rectangle something like this and then go to the format rotate and rotate say 90 degrees 
and bring it here exactly at the center if you want you can increase the size shape outline make it no outline and give a different color here and then go to insert once again shapes select which is under basic shape select trapezoid draw the trapezoid something like this and this also you need to rotate 90 degrees bring this here remove the outline and give some dark color and send this to back and align properly to give a kind of a 3d effect for this and then right mouse click edit points and just drag this inside here and this also drag this something like this here if you see here it is something like this now all right now you can give some more shadow effect also i'm going to use the same press ctrl d reduce the size rotate it bring this to here still reduce the size and then send this to back control D to duplicate and bring one more here and this also you say send to back so you got you can see that the shadow effects got created now I'm going to copy all these things control G to group it control D to duplicate bring the other side and go to format rotate it to flip horizontal and bring this side here and for this you can give a different color maybe something uh, this color all right then I'm going to add the icons here I'm going to just copy the icons so select these four icons control C and control V then place one this will be second this is third and this is fourth and to make sure that this is properly uh, the aligned and have the equal space go to format under alignment say distribute vertically so it will give you the right space and then you can just say align left so that it align perfectly now we need to do the animation before doing that I'm going to insert one more oval shape give the same orange outline shape fill make it no fill and increase the width and place it here all right and then you can add your text also so go to insert text box i will say the first one is zero one white color increase the size center aligned and put it here and insert one more text box alright so this also I'll make it white and increase the font size and center aligned If you want you can reduce the size also but let's go with this and then it's time to add the animation go to animations enable the animation pane 
I'll zoom it little bit. I'm going to select one, two, three, four icons and add animation. Go to more entrance effects. Select basic zoom. And then I'm going to select this oval shape. And this also I'm going to give a uh, same basic zoom. But this should happen with previous. I'll just make this here and a little bit delay of 0.25 seconds. For example, if I play, it comes like this. You can see that. Now, once this comes, the text also should appear. So I'm just going to give the effect of wipe and the option the effect option should come from top and this should happen after previous so if I see this one this comes and the text comes there so uh, this particular slide is completed now I'm just going to copy or duplicate this slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide one more slide add started I mean added here and then I'm just bringing this down and remove all the other animations which is the picture all this pictures animation has to be removed and if you see here if I play this this animation comes first then this is the second slide it goes to this one so this I'm just going to make it second and likewise I'll just make it duplicate slide bring this sorry here and this will be the third and last one which is here and this will be a fourth so if I play from the slide one the text one appears there click then text two then text three and text four and if you want to use the morph transition then in that case you need to remove all the animation from the slide 2 3 and 4 and then select the transition go to transition menu and select morph that's it so it will without any animation it will work perfectly also but for this morph transition you need to have office 365